Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Portland, Oregon at the Nike Hoop Summit with Isaiah Briscoe. Just coming off a very strong performance in the scrimmage. Isaiah, how you feeling out here? You know, I'm feeling good. You know, not now I don't get too many opportunities to play with, you know, other good players and show my full game. But you know, as you can see, once I'm, when I'm playing with other great players and things like that, I'm about as good as a point guard is in the country. So, What's your role here on this team? Run, run the team, you know, as, as the point guard, you know, lead by example. You know, coach like to run up and down, and that's what I love to do. So that plays to my advantage. How is it going to be different here this week as opposed to McDonald's week? I think it's, I think it's different here because, well, it's really no difference. You know, like, like you said, McDonald's was the top 24 players here. It's even narrowed down to 11. So, I mean, and this is doing nothing but getting me ready for Kentucky because, you know, Kentucky always play with all the Americans, and I love playing with other great players. So, I mean, it's not, it, there's no difference or it's not going to be any difference at, at Jordan Brand because it's all the same thing. Last summer at the under-18s, your role was, it looked to me at least, it looked a little bit more limited, you know, yeah. more off the ball. It seems like here you're now a year older, you have a bigger role playing with the ball more. Is that, is that something that you've kind of grown into with USAB? I would think so. But I mean, like, like last year, you know, you had Tyus and, you know, he's a great point guard. He just won national championships. So, and I was limited. And, you know, that, that was a reality check to, to show, like, you know, it's not always about you, Isaiah. You got to, you have to, you know, do other things to get on the court. So, you know, I, was, I started working on my defense and things like that. So, you know, a year later, not now I'm here, you know, my body's different. I'm, I'm talking more. I'm a much, I'm a more complete um, point guard. You know, I mean, like, I've just been performing well. You looked like you were really locked in uh, on defense today, at least you were trying to for the most part. Is that something that the coaches are already emphasizing for you, or is that something that you personally are trying to improve at? Yeah, that's something I per I'm personally trying to improve on, you know, getting ready for Kentucky and, and beyond that. So, I mean, sooner or later I'm going to I'm gonna have to come down and I'm going to have to start playing defense. So why not now? How is your game evolving right now from, from compared to the last time we saw you or the last year, the under-18s? What are some of the things that you've been working on? I'm lighter. You know, um, I think my jump shots improve. You know, my, my whole game has just been improving day by day. How much um, NBA basketball do you watch, and, and who are some of the guys that, that you enjoy taking in? I mean, I don't watch a lot of NBA basketball, but, I mean, I love watching Kyrie. Chris Paul, Tyreek Evans, John Wall. You know, I just love Steph Curry. You know, I, I like watching great point guards. Any particular goals that you set for yourself for next year at Kentucky? No, I mean, not necessarily. I just want to go in there and just contribute however I can as a freshman. And what about in terms of your career? What are some things that you'd like to achieve? I mean, right now my dream is to play in the NBA. It ain't no secret. Great stuff, man. Well, thanks a lot. Yep, good luck with that.